Okay, so we knew that the first night of right wing media response to the amazing testimony of a number of different members of the Capitol Police about what they experienced on January 6th was going to be unproductive. Well, indeed it was. <laughs> so first of all, Tucker Carlson, who has spent the days from January 7th until yesterday, denying that you should care about the Capitol attack, pretending that there was no racism there, attacking Harry Dunn in anticipation of his testimony. Spent last night attacking Michael Fanon, here is what he had to say. Watch Fanon cite the psychological trauma he endured as an excuse for ditching our Bill of Rights. I've been left with the psychological trauma and the emotional anxiety of having survived such a horrific event. <laughs> now, not to in any way underplay the crimes that were committed on January 6th, and there were crimes committed on January 6th, but compared to what? What's interesting is that Michael Fanon didn't mention experience any trauma during the time he spent last year. Okay, so not to minimize it, but let's do that. Not to minimize it, I just laughed like a weirdo. Not to minimize it, but something something BLM. So that's what he had. You just were told the guy has a traumatic brain injury. He had a heart attack and a concussion and PTSD. <laughs> Not as bad as his hyena laugh that he's developed over the past year, JR, but it's still um, purposefully, first of all, planned. It was in the teleprompter that he was gonna laugh there. Um, it was as condescending as his fans tuned in to see. You have to make sure that you continue the drumbeat against certain people just for who they are, not because of what they experience or what the truth about the matter is. It's all based on how makes sure you have enough boogeymen. So the Dr. Fauci's of the world, you know, Hillary Clinton's one of the old school ones, uh, Pelosi's an old school one. So no matter what is said or done, which by the way, the Hillary Clintons of the world and the, and the Nancy Pelosi's, they have their issues that of course many progressives are concerned with, but they're based in what they've done and their policy stances and their what they do legislatively. Not just based on the fact that they exist. Also, oh, Nancy Pelosi. So in this case, it has to be, you know, so now it's now it's Officer Fanon. Oh, I can't believe he's talking about the issues he's dealt with since then. Yeah. Why can't you why is why is that a bad thing? You know, we did hear about from Tucker Carlson. We heard the Tucker Carlson had people show up to his house and he was petrified. His wife was inside with his kids and she didn't know what to do, which way to go. Could you believe that people exposed me like that, which they didn't, and sent people to my house to try and intimidate and scare us. So yeah. should we say, I don't give a damn, Tucker, about you or your family or what happens to them? Because boo hoo, you had some JR. health issues. Oh my God, you were afraid. Think about how upsetting that would be for you. A hundred percent. I mean, that it like, you don't even have to go back that far. His fans were aggrieved that a guy went up to him in a fish store and said, you're horrible. How could you do that? Back <laughs> off of him, he's in public, it's not him over there. Why would you say a thing? Okay, so that's bad. But if if you just had something you know relatively minor, like being dragged down the Capitol steps, suffering a mild heart attack and a concussion as you were shocked with a stun gun and beaten. You know, being electrocuted multiple times, that's nothing. Having a guy come up to you while you're in the bait aisle, that could leave a real mark on one <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, absolute, Just it's just condescending nonsense. It's designed to be condescending nonsense. Absolutely. There was no chance that they were gonna back the blue or whatever nonsense they say. And I don't say that to try to convince our fans. They know that the supposed support for the cops is it's illusory. It's it's you know it's yeah. convenient when it's convenient. But if you happen to be a cop or know a cop, you should know that so long as their politics line up with the right wing, sure they'll support you or whatever. But the second you disagree, they don't care if you're murdered brutally on camera. They don't care, and not just the media. The Fraternal Order of Police, you know, which supports every cop when they kill an unarmed person, they're not supporting these cops in any way. They have no interest whatsoever, by yep. the way. It is purely political. So that was Tucker Carlson. Um, Laura Ingram did her best political perform performance awards, literally hanging out awards for best crying, best whatever. Like th this is four different cops <sighs> who are all talking about how they nearly died. And she is mocking them. Imagine. <laughs> I'll do the, the stereotypical thing. Imagine if Ilhan Omar did this about other cops. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, okay. So you got Fox News on this. Imagine BET News, right? It's at least something everyone would connect with black folks and a black audience watching it. Decided after um, after there's protests last summer to then talk about 
have opinion people come on and talk about how cops are boo-hooing and I can't believe they're worried so much. When in reality, the story was about how they need to stop murdering people in the streets for absolutely no reason. There's pushback for that. There's pushback for wanting cops to stop murdering people in the streets. But if there's an anchor that comes on and says, look at these cops crying over getting shot. No, literally, once they are purposefully attacked, we're talking about when there's protests in the streets and then cops come and converge and then there's a conflict. That's yeah. completely different. BLM didn't run up on every cop they can find in the in the <laughs> in the country and go to attacking them. That didn't happen. But yeah. here it did. All these MAGAs went to the Capitol, found Capitol Police officers that were in their way and said, Are you with us or against us? If you're against us, you're gonna die on your knees. They said it literally. Yeah, hundred percent. And he doesn't care. Because there are no values, there are no principles. It is all case by case. Does this help me politically? Or does this help me, you know, in terms of my career, getting more people to watch me, getting me more money? I don't I don't care about anything else. I don't have an ideology. I don't have a value system. I just want money. That's Tucker Carlson. That's Laura Ingram. She's not as good at it, which is why more people don't people don't sure, but that is what they're thinking. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.